Welcome to this QuickBooks Online Tutorial for Beginners 2019. My name is Matt Hulquist with the QuickBooks University, and I want to show you how to enter split transactions in QuickBooks Online. Okay, so split transactions are basically that it's just when you uh, split a transaction between a couple of different accounts. Okay, it could be two accounts, three accounts, four accounts, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to focus on entering expenses and entering bills and how to enter split transactions. Okay. All right. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to click over here and go to expenses. All right. So you can see in QuickBooks Online, you have these expense transactions. Okay. So when you enter an expense transaction, this is going to be like a, this will not be when you pay bills or when you enter bills. This will be if you have a debit card transaction uh, in general. Okay, we're just entering something directly to the check register. Um, it could be a credit card expense, you know, if it goes to the credit card. Um, in this video, we're going to look at just a direct expense transaction. Again, which would be a debit card transaction directly to your checking account or even an ACH that might like an automatic draft that might come out of your account. Okay. All right. So we're going to go up here. We're going to go to new transaction. We're going to click on expense. All right. So let's say that we went to, uh, let's pick our payee. Okay. We're going to assume this is, uh, let's say Hicks hardware. All right, let's say we went to Hicks Hardware and we used our debit card, okay? And we paid, let's see, we're going to take this out of there because this automatically came in. Okay, so let's say that we went and used the debit card and uh, payment method, uh, we're going to say uh, cash, okay? Or you can say check if this is a debit card transaction. We're going to say cash, okay? And the category... Uh, let's say is the first thing that we purchased. Let's say we purchased a couple of different things from Hicks Hardware. So this would be like if you go in and you say, you know what, I can't really put this all to one account because it just doesn't make sense. Let's say that we rented equipment, okay, and that amount was 125, okay, and we're not going to bill this to a customer right now, okay, and then let's say that we also had uh, some other, let's say, job materials. No, we'll say that we had to get uh, some uh, equipment repaired. Okay, let's say that we dropped off a piece of equipment and we had to get that repaired and we paid for that at the same time. Okay. Okay, so the total charge, the total expense that we went in and we said is 625. All right. And we have to split this between two accounts. So we have equipment rental, 125, and then we have maintenance repairs of $500, okay? So this is a split transaction, okay? When, when we say split, that's all it means. We're just splitting it between two accounts. Now, let's say that we also had a third expense, all right? Let's say that uh, we also bought supplies for $75.23, okay? All right, so the total amount now, let's say, was the debit card transaction, $700.23, and we split it between these three accounts. All right, so all we're gonna do then when we're done with this, this matches how much we spent, hit save and close. All right, and so now that is a basic split transaction. You can see here in the expenses uh, register, so to speak here, uh, you'll see Hicks Hardware and Category Split. All right, and if you need to view or edit this, you can do this, you can click here and go to view or edit that. All right, so it's going to be the same methodology if we go to a bill. So if we're going to enter a new transaction and we need to enter a bill. All right, we'll pick, uh, let's say, a different one this time. Let's say, you know, Lee Advertising. Just pick whatever vendor, okay? And you're going to put in your terms. You're going to put in the bill date and the due date, all right? So again, all we're going to do is go down here and I'm going to say Advertising you know, $600. And then let's say that there was uh, another expense that they, they put on there. Let's say, you know, I don't know, dues and subscriptions, uh, $100. Okay. And the total is going to be $700. Okay. So again, this is a split transaction. All right.
So it's pretty straightforward. It's just a lot of times the terminology in QuickBooks Online, let me save and close this, and in QuickBooks Desktop can be a little bit confusing when you say, hey, I need to split that transaction. How do I do that? Okay, and the same is true for any credit card transaction you enter. Um, you know, any kind of transaction in QuickBooks that you enter, you can split. Okay, and you'll see here it says split for the bill for Lee Advertising. And you can, again, over here, make payment, view and edit, or delete it. All right, so that's the basics. Split transaction, very simple to do. You're just splitting it between different accounts within QuickBooks so that it records everything correctly uh, within your records. All right, any comments, any questions, leave them below. Uh, happy to answer them for you. Uh, also, head over to the QuickBooks University. would love to have you become a member over there. A member is somebody who uh, purchases the training tutorials and then also, because of that, gets uh, personal support to answer their QuickBooks questions. The website is qbuniversity.org.